Hi, welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. In this video, I've got a garden pond that I've been working on for the past couple years. I don't have extensive video of the construction of this pond, since I wasn't quite ready to do YouTube at the time, but I do have quite a few pictures of the progress that we made digging out the hole, installing the liner, and setting up some of the landscaping around the pond. Here's a basic design of this pond, and I made this probably a little more complicated than necessary. Uh, the main pond is lined at the base with a former stock tank or a horse drinking trough, and then the upper section of the pond is lined with plastic, which is more of a traditional material. And the water from the main pond gets pumped into a smaller swamp pond, which is essentially a giant natural filter. So we're just topping off the garden pond. Got the last of our rainwater going in to the main pond. And we've got a pump in the bottom here piping up to this box. And that's the pump. And then the water goes over here to this swamp pond and bubbles up through gravel and mud and soon to be plants. And then the idea is that the clean water after it goes through the swamp and plants comes through this little canal and back into the main pond. Right now it's mostly mud runoff but uh, hopefully that'll calm down after a little more filtering and maybe the addition of another screen here. So I've got a couple boats in the pond and I actually built this little lock system in my canal because the filter swamp is a higher water level than the main pond. So the idea being that you can sail your boat through the lock here into the lock chamber and then equalize the water levels here into the lock chamber. So I've made this kind of offset a little bit so the force of the water pushes the lock closed and it overflows a little bit but it does allow the chambers to equalize and then the little boat can go through the lock. And this swamp pond not only cleans the water from the main pond, but it's a home for swamp plants, frogs, and whatever else decides to move in there. And yes, I do have some frogs that have moved in. I'm not 100% sure what these guys are, but we have at least two, and they seem to have stuck around through at least one winter. I think these guys burrow into the mud and hang out over the winter, and then they pop out again when the pond refills with water. I've got one frog that's a little shy, tends to hide itself, and tends to run away if you look at it too closely or try to touch it. Now the other frog is actually pretty friendly and you can hand feed it grasshoppers if you uh, hold one in front of its face. So that's pretty fun. We also have a few goldfish in the pond and they're kind of our test fish to see if this setup will work through the winter and will both retain its heat and its water I do have this uh, over three feet deep, which was the recommended depth for a pond in Minnesota if you're going to overwinter fish. And I do have a floating heater on the surface that is supposed to keep a little bit of an ice-free zone for air exchange. Now I do have a thermostatically controlled heat tape wrapped around all of my plumbing, so if the temperature gets too cold, that's supposed to turn on the heat tape and keep my buried pipes from freezing. Another thing we tried out was this fish dome. Uh, there are some videos online that show how you do this. And then you have a section of water that's above the water level. Physics is crazy. And the fish were pretty apprehensive about this at first. I think the pressure differential was a little weird for them. But eventually they enjoyed coming up inside the dome and checking it out and looking around. 
So this pond is still kind of in the experimental stages. I'm going to continue doing some landscaping around it, and I might even do a garden train of some sort. And then uh, we'll do some more plants, and we'll make it look a little prettier. And uh, hopefully we'll have a nice spot to hang out and watch the wildlife. Uh, the birds already love this. And while it can be stressful to set up and manage it, once it's all working, it seems pretty relaxing. So, oh, thank you for watching my quick pond video. I will definitely have some follow-up videos once the snow goes away and we can get outside and work on this again. And as I said, I'll probably do a little railroad around it. We'll do some more landscaping. So if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, or if you'd like to check out some of my other projects that I do around the house, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and uh, stay tuned to see what we have next.